Let's talk about vaginas. Yes, that often ignored, misunderstood, and sometimes feared part of the female anatomy. Specifically, let's delve into the world of vaginal infections, a topic that's about as fun as a root canal without the anesthetic. But hey, knowledge is power, and knowing what's going on down there can save you a lot of discomfort and awkward doctor's appointments. Vaginal infections are, unfortunately, a common occurrence. They're essentially an imbalance in the vagina's natural ecosystem. Like when your carefully curated sourdough starter suddenly decides to host a rave for unwanted bacteria. This delicate balance can be disrupted by a variety of factors, leading to a range of unpleasant symptoms. Don't worry though, this isn't a horror story. Most vaginal infections are easily treatable, and knowing the signs can help you get back to feeling like yourself in no time. Just like your gut relies on a healthy balance of bacteria, so does your vagina. And just like your gut can get upset after a dodgy kebab, your vaginal flora can be thrown off by various things, from antibiotics to changes in hormone levels. This disruption allows certain organisms to overgrow, causing the infamous symptoms of a vaginal infection. So, let's talk about those, shall we? because ignoring them is like pretending that weird smell in your fridge will just magically disappear. Spoiler alert, it won't. The first clue that something might be amiss downstairs is often an unusual discharge. Now, before you panic, remember that discharge is perfectly normal. It's your vagina's way of keeping things clean and tidy, like a tiny self-cleaning oven, though hopefully less smoky. However, a change in the amount, color, or consistency of your discharge can be a sign of infection. Another common symptom is itching. And we're not talking about the kind of itch you can discreetly scratch under the table. We're talking full-on, can't-stop-thinking-about-it itching. If your vagina feels like it's hosting a flea circus, it's definitely time to investigate. Along with itching, you might also experience burning. This can be particularly noticeable when you pee making bathroom breaks feel like a cruel and unusual punishment. And let's be honest, nobody needs more reasons to dread public restrooms. Finally, some vaginal infections can cause a noticeable odor. While every vagina has its own unique aroma, let's call it a personal fragrance, a strong, fishy, or otherwise unpleasant smell is often a sign that something's not quite right. One of the most common vaginal infections is the yeast infection, caused by an overgrowth of the fungus candida. Think of it as your vagina's version of a bread-making gone rogue. Yeast infections are notorious for their intense itching, which can make you feel like you're auditioning for the role of a frantic squirrel. In addition to itching, yeast infections often cause a thick, white, cottage cheese-like discharge. Not exactly the kind of dairy product you want down there. You might also experience burning and redness around the vulva. The good news is that yeast infections are usually easily treated with over-the-counter antifungal creams or suppositories. These medications work by knocking out the excess yeast and restoring balance to your vaginal ecosystem. However, if you're experiencing these symptoms for the first time, it's always a good idea to see a doctor to confirm the diagnosis. They can rule out other potential issues and ensure you're getting the right treatment. Section 4. Bacterial Vaginosis, or BV, a fishy situation. Bacterial vaginosis is another common culprit behind vaginal infections. Unlike yeast infections, BV is caused by an overgrowth of certain bacteria in the vagina. It's like a hostile takeover of your vaginal microbiome, and the results aren't pretty. The hallmark symptom of BV is a strong, fishy odor, often described as smelling like rotten fish. Not exactly the kind of perfume you want to be wearing. This odor might be especially noticeable after sex. Along with the unpleasant smell, BV can also cause a thin, grayish-white discharge. You might also experience itching and burning, though these symptoms are often less severe than with a yeast infection. BV is typically treated with antibiotics, either oral or topical. It's important to complete the full course of antibiotics, even if your symptoms improve, to prevent the infection from coming back. Section 5. Trichomoniasis. The Uninvited Guest. 
Trichomoniasis, or Trich for short, is a sexually transmitted infection caused by a parasite. It's like an unwelcome house guest who refuses to leave, wreaking havoc on your vaginal health. Trichomoniasis can cause a range of symptoms, including a frothy, yellow-green discharge, itching, burning, and pain during urination or sex. Some people with Trich may not experience any symptoms at all, which is why regular STI testing is so important. Trichomoniasis is treated with antibiotics, usually a single dose of medication. It's important to notify your sexual partners if you're diagnosed with Trich so they can also get tested and treated. Section 6. Prevention. Keeping the peace downstairs. Preventing vaginal infections is all about maintaining a healthy vaginal environment. Think of it as creating a peaceful, well-balanced ecosystem where good bacteria thrive and bad bacteria are kept in check. One of the most important things you can do is to avoid douching. Douching disrupts the natural balance of your vagina, washing away the good bacteria and making you more susceptible to infections. Your vagina is a self-cleaning oven, remember? Wearing breathable cotton underwear can also help prevent infections by allowing air to circulate and keeping moisture at bay. Avoid tight-fitting clothing and synthetic fabrics, which can trap moisture and create a breeding ground for bacteria and yeast. Practicing safe sex, including using condoms, can help protect you from STIs like trichomoniasis. And finally, maintaining good overall hygiene, including wiping from front to back after using the toilet, can help prevent the spread of bacteria from your rectum to your vagina. Section 7. Seeking Professional Help When to Call in the Experts While many vaginal infections can be treated with over-the-counter medications, it's important to see a doctor if you're experiencing symptoms for the first time, if your symptoms are severe, or if they don't improve with treatment. A doctor can accurately diagnose the infection and recommend the appropriate treatment. Don't be embarrassed to talk to your doctor about vaginal health. They've heard it all before, and they're there to help you feel your best. It's much better to get things checked out than to suffer in silence. Remember, vaginal infections are common and treatable. By knowing the symptoms, practicing good hygiene, and seeking medical advice when needed, you can keep your downstairs drama to a minimum and enjoy optimal vaginal health. Now go forth and conquer your vaginal woes.